أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قول معروف ومغفرة خير من صدقة يتبعها أذى والله غني حليم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي Today inshallah I'll be sharing with you some things from the 263rd ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah Ayah Surah Al-Baqarah 263 And in this ayah Allah talks a little bit about spending uh, And spending for His sake, giving in charitable causes You know in this month uh, Alhamdulillah we get closer to Allah And we feel a lot more uh, softness even towards other people and it's a month of giving, a lot of people give their zakat in this month, a lot of people donate more to the mosques and the masajid in this month, or even to humanitarian causes. But actually, the original giving, in addition to all of these causes, really the, the, where giving begins is people that are closest to you, family members that are in need, neighbors, friends, things like that. And when you give to those kinds of, you know, ins- you know those individuals or those recipients, and you're personally, you know, giving them some some kind of help. Maybe you are a, have a friend who's in debt, and he doesn't know how you know how to get out of it or something, or they've been stuck in it for a while. And you can put a little bit of a dent in their debt, or you have somebody else. You know, you have an uncle in the family, or a cousin, or somebody like that, or even a brother who's lost a job and is having a hard time making making the rent payments and things like that. And you can help them out. Allah says in this ayah a very powerful bit of advice about not just giving, but the way to give, the ethics of giving. So he says, قَوْلٌ مَعْرُوفٌ A decent word, a decent word, وَمَغْفِرَةٌ And forgiveness. خَيْرٌ مِّن صَدَقَةٍ يَتْبَعُهَا أَذَى Is better than charity given, which is followed up by painful words, by pain. Or that, you know, charity that right after it, pain comes. What in the world does that mean? That means sometimes people give, but as they give, they're condescending in the way they give. You know, they're not, they're not, they have this kind of, here, take it. And I know you need it. It's a really hurtful way of saying it, you know. If you didn't insult a person, but you said it in a way that just really pierces through a person's dignity. So Allah says, قَوْلٌ مَعْرُوف And the word ma'roof is important here. Because ma'roof, part of the meaning of it is to retain dignity, you know, to, of people. Speaking to people in the ma'roof is speaking to people in a decent way. The other thing also, قَوْلٌ مَعْرُوف So when you give, show respect. In other words, the person you're helping, you're not helping them. As a matter of fact, you're depositing into your akhirah. So technically, they're helping you from a faith perspective. You're honored to be able to help them, not the other way around. Then he says, وَمَغْفِرَةٌ And for, perhaps there's somebody that you want to help in your family or among your circle of friends, but you had a fight with them. And you're not really getting along with them anymore. And so when it comes time to giving, you're like... I don't know if I should, I mean, we kind of broke it off on bad terms. I don't know if I should give to this person anymore. Allah says, not only decent word, but forgiveness is better. This is the right way to go. Then charity given, min sadaqatin yatba'uha adha, which is followed, and charity right after it, what, what comes is painful words. In other words, listen, I know you said these mean things to me, but keep this charity and don't let that happen next time. <laughs> You know, don't talk down to people and don't use your money as leverage against them. When you give, when we give for the sake of Allah and you give anybody, give a friend, give family, give a masjid, then there are no strings attached. That is it. You gave for the sake of Allah. You get nothing more out of it. If they give something to you, if they give thanks to you, if they do you a favor in return or whatever, that's their prerogative. But number one, you shouldn't expect it. Number two, if they don't do it, you shouldn't be offended and say, I helped them out and they didn't do anything for me. Because you didn't help them out. You helped yourself out. And the moment you start expecting, in the depth of your heart, you and I start expecting that somebody should do something for us in return for the charity that we've given them, the sadaqah, the aid that we gave them, then at that very moment, whatever you gave is no longer something acceptable before Allah. That is some, a worldly transaction that has no other worldly benefit. In the akhirah, it will not show up for you. Allah does not like to share. Then at the end of this ayah, beautifully, Allah says, Wallahu ghaniyun halim. And Allah is free of need. Allah doesn't need your charity. He doesn't need you for, for your help, for that friend of yours who's in need, for them to be provided for. Allah would find other ways for them to be provided. You were simply there to demonstrate your, you know, your faqr, your bankruptcy to Allah. Ya Allah, I don't have anything for the akhirah. Please accept this from me so that I can build some of my akhirah. And then Allah says, Halim, Allah is forbearing. 
Part of the meaning of hilm is to be able to understand the pain of someone else. Allah is sensitive to the pain of other people. Allah is sensitive to the situ- you know, their situation. In other words, Allah is saying, first of all, if you think you're rich, Allah is the one who made you rich. He's ghani. And second of all, if you aren't insensitive, you should emulate one of the qualities of Allah Himself, which is to be sensitive, which is to be forbearing. You know, Wallahu ghaniyun halim, subhanAllah. May Allah Azza wa make us sensitive and, you know, ethical, really, you know, uh, cautious and conscious at the time of giving. And may Allah provide all of us with good, pure halal rizq. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum everyone. If you've benefited from these reminders, please support Quran Weekly by clicking the link below.